hello friends welcome to nick it academy in our today's session we are going to learn about how to return multiple columns from unconnected lookup normally we have already seen that unconnected lookup we can return only one return port per lookup say for an example even in the same table we want multiple port we have to use multiple lookup but we have some work around to return multiple port so that's what we are going to use please watch the session without skipping it you will be getting lot of stuff here this is the one of the question asked mostly in interview please watch it completely so that you will be getting all the stuff let us see let us see practically so we are using two lookup right two lookup uh, transformation to return two different columns on the same table so first time we are returning department id second time we are returning location location id department name and location id is it possible with the only one transformation to return department name and location id it is not possible with the only one transformation is not possible but we have some work around so what i am going to do so i am just copying this copy the same lookup uncorrected lookup multiple return port how to take multiple return port multiple return port is not possible directly so i'm going to use only lkp trans i'm removing this this particular one more lookup i'm just removing per table only one lookup we can use for this scenario also we can use only two lookup instead of five lookup we can use two lookup so two lookup for departments table these two one lookup another three is for locations right for location we can use only one so only two lookup we can complete how to do please look at here so this one same table we are looking up right same table we are getting it so we have some work around for this so what is it we can take department name underscore loc both both of the column in same port how to take so look at here i'm going to use so this is i'm selecting from the departments table right department table so i'm going to use department underscore id comma is it possible to select a department name and location in same column yes it is possible how to take you have to take department name concatenation concatenation location underscore id so location underscore id as this one see here department okay sorry this is a department table right department table so just i'm selecting it so this is what i'm getting so in one column i'm getting two values right one is department name another one is location id we can return this but if i return like this i cannot i cannot take only administration i cannot take only location id so to have this segregation i will use some delimiter here delimiter okay some delimiter i have used like look till symbol i am using as this one so look at here this one i am using then using that select department id as department id so department id this one as location from this one so this is what i am using it so this query we are going to use in lookup okay lookup override so how to use it make whenever you are writing this query right so make it like upper case sometimes upper case lower case it will have some issues so you can use this as an upper case Control C. I have used. So where can I use it? So here we have to use. Go to properties. In the properties, look up SQL override, right? So here we can use it. So this particular query will be executed. First column is department ID that will be assigned to a department ID column. Second column will be assigned to. department name location column single column okay 
has single value so if you have many columns you can put all the columns in the tilt symbol we can return it in one single port single port only we can take but that we are taking in this particular column so we can go for more than 30 characters like 100 characters i'm going with clear on this okay so we have to receive this column here which port i can receive can i use this one no i will use one more port called d underscore department underscore location dept underscore name underscore location so this column i will receive it first okay whatever the return port as a variable port why i am using as a variable port variable port for intermediate calculation department id i am passing but this time i will get department name and location id okay department name i have to get it right so how to get the department name say for an example this is what you are getting as a result from this i have to get the administration from this i have to get the 1700 per location id by using the tilt symbol i have to write common formula for all the sorry because i cannot use some number of character for this alone then this is different this is different right so everything is different different that's what we are used to till the symbol how to get the administration alone from here so you have to use substring s u b s t r substring of the given string right single quotes comma one comma how many characters i have to take one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, 1, comma 14 I have to use. Correct? From dual. So, administration I have taken. But is it, this formula will work for all the all the data. So, for this one is correct. This one is 1, comma 2, right? So, to identify the tilt symbol, I will go for the in string. INSTR, in string of this one where this tilt symbol is presenting so 15th place right 15th place so you have this is 14th place in order to take this one where is the tilt symbol is present so you can use single quotes tilt symbol it will return like 15 so i have to use so here it is a 14 but it is returning 15 so what i have to do remove this 14 remove this 14 if you paste it here you make minus one okay minus one see here administration has taken correctly we are not doing any hard coded value so instead of this we are going for any other data say for an example i'm using it department it so here also i'm using it it will return it correctly so it will take that's what we have written this formula is for department name okay i will write uh, this formula for department name so instead of hard coding this what i have to use instead of hard coding this what i have to use this port name i have to use this port name you have to use clear okay so for this i have to take 1700 how can I take 1700? How can I take 1700 alone from this? So you have to go for substring of this one. So you have to use instead of one, you have to find out the tilt symbol, correct? From which character? So that tilt symbol plus one, I have to use, not minus one. This time plus one, that's all. So you have to learn first substring and instring. So I have already posted some video on substring and instring. Please watch it. Okay. Please watch the substring and instring. So you can get it. So this is what you can go for the substring and instring options. So this one you have to use it here. I will take this one next. This one I will use. So instead of this, I'll go for this one for this one click on okay apply okay here. save 
see we have used only one lookup now okay so now i will create a workflow i will show you whether it is loading correctly or not unconnected lookup unconnected lookup multiple return port so multiple return port so i have given here so you can see the target i'm just using this target look at now so underscore dept right this table so i'm going to start it will load the data okay it got loaded now you can check it whether it has loaded correctly or not yes it has loaded correctly for all the records right so this is what you have to use multiple return port in single unconnected lookup clear we have to use concatenate function to take that 